In this lesson, we'll learn how can we select links from a drop-down menu like this one right here. So there are two actions which we must perform. That is, we will first of all make the drop-down menu visible by clicking on this button, and then we will select our drop-down link. So let's go ahead and click on this drop-down button. And now if I go ahead and inspect the same, you can see we have something like a button element and the button element has an ID of button group drop one. So let's go ahead and select it using CSS selectors. So we have our drop down, and then I can say page locator because we are using CSS selector. We will specify the tag name and then for the ID, we'll start with the hash and then the ID value that is button group drop one. And now I can go ahead and make the drop down menu visible by clicking on our drop down button. So let's click the same. You can see the drop down menu is now visible and we can go ahead and inspect the same as well. That is the link right here. You can see it is inside of a divider with the class of drop down hyphen menu. And the links are a tags, that is a link element with the class of drop down item. So let's go ahead and first of all select the drop down menu. So we will go ahead and use page locator and we'll use the class name that is divider dot the drop down hyphen menu like this and if i go ahead and highlight the same you can see we have selected our drop down menu but we have also selected others which is a total of 12 in this page so we only want to select the visible drop down menu and to do that we can just use the visible pseudo class so a colon after our selector and the pseudo class name that is visible if i go ahead and hit enter you can see only the drop down menu that is visible is selected because we did click on this button great and now we want to select the elements inside of it let's say we want to select the last link item so we can go ahead and again have the same selector that is the drop down menu selector and inside of our drop down we have the links which we can verify if we inspect the link, you can see it is an A item inside of our divider, which we have already selected. So we'll use the parent child relationship. And after a space, we'll write the selector for our A tag. So a A element with the text and we'll use the pseudo class again, that is colon text and the text in this case is drop down link. Now, if I go ahead and highlight it, you can see we have highlighted the two drop down link elements because there are two inside the menu with the same name. So we can easily go ahead and select the last element using the last attribute, and then we can highlight it. And finally, you can see we have selected the last drop down link element. So we can go ahead and extract it inside of a variable. Let's say the drop down link. And we can go ahead and click the same. Drop down link, click. And finally, we have clicked the link. And of course, nothing happened because it redirected the page to the current website. But that's how we can click on a drop down button, find our link, and then click the same.